Greetings. Copyright strikes. Some people love them, and almost everyone else hates them. I fall in the category of, uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan. Today we'll be talking about a copyright strike I received recently. A false copyright strike. A copyright strike is when your video is removed from YouTube, usually from copyright infringement. In this case, uh, it's not true. I was copyright striked by he who shall not be named, but I will say his name rhymes with smile and his last name rhymes with feats. My last name also rhymes with feats. This happened five days ago now. I like how I'm talking about it like it's a murder or something. If you get three copyright strikes, your, your YouTube channel gets deleted. So this is actually pretty serious business. When you get striked, your video gets removed from YouTube and your channel gets a strike. And obviously, three strikes are out. I, I don't know how they thought of that. This video was about one of his plugins and about me making an alternative to it. But when this happened, I was paranoid, so I removed several videos relating to this content creator's other plugins. The irony is, uh, you guys ready for this? The name of the video is Free Drip Plugin Alternative. I guess uh, the company that he hired to do this saw Free Drip Plugin, and then they forgot how to read the fourth word, which said alternative. So I'm guessing they read the words Free Drip Plugin and thought it was some sort of piracy, but the fourth word says alternative, so that doesn't really make any sense. I don't really understand how this happens. I've actually been in contact with this creator over the past five days and he's kind of it seems like he's just been stringing me along he was saying he's going to take care of it hasn't done anything about it i mean personally if it was me i would like and i false copyright strike someone i would be taking care of it that day so let's check out what's going on, on my youtube channel real quick here okay as you can see here uh active copyright strikes one of three content removed by redacted beats inc content used artwork that's strange because I don't remember using any of the artwork. I did show the plugin for a brief moment, which is something that falls under fair use, if, especially if you're talking about it or making some sort of commentary over it, which I was. But I talked to the creator who did this. He hired some anti-piracy company who apparently doesn't know the meaning of the word alternative. It's all he needed to pull the trigger there. I didn't need to read the fourth word. Yeah, apparently it's a shoot first ask questions later sort of operation. And uh, since I haven't heard from this creator in three days now, and I've been in the DMs with him trying to solve it now for five days, I actually did a counter notification using counter DMCA. Anyways, I'm waiting for a review on the counterclaim, and uh, hopefully this video will be reinstated pretty soon. Literally, it's a pretty dumb video. It only has like a thousand views, and it's just like me making an alternative to the drip plugin in Ableton. And it's literally just like EQ, delay, chorus, reverb. And like it does it at random amounts using one click. I, I guess this would fall under the, the category of parody and uh, commentary in my opinion. But it's only a five minute video that I published uh, last year, maybe like seven months ago now. And it was something that wasn't even getting views is the ironic part. So like, I don't know, it's kind of dumb. But anyways, because of this, I deleted several other videos because right when this happened, I thought it might be malicious, thinking that they might, this guy might be trying to three strike my channel, uh, Voldemort here, which I still kind of worried might be the case because this is like some pretty unhinged shit to do in my opinion. Like he said he himself didn't do this and this company did this, but he himself is not uh, helping resolve it too much. I mean, he claims he is in the DMs, but it doesn't seem to be a high priority at all for him. And this is like, uh, pretty illegal. This is not something to toy around with. Like I said earlier, if I accidentally copyright strike someone in this fashion, I would be taking care of it the day of. This would not be something that takes a week or two, which is what it seems like it's going to be at this point, which is why I'm making this video. If you or someone you know has been copyright striked, contact the law office of Stephen Beats. Stephen may be a terrible beat maker, but he's a great lawyer. So is Rob. He is the secretary. I use them all the time. And I hope that video will be back up soon. Yeah, people who copyright strike are fucking bitches. Especially when it's not warranted. I just want to say, if you or anyone you know has ever copyright striked a video, they should fuck themselves. Good night. Oh, my mic is not broken. I don't know, supposedly this thing works better if you beat it over something, so. Ooh, earn up to 2,500 NFT rewards when you refer friends. Hell yeah.